Patrick Mahomes. Ah, oh, the declared GOAT if you ask football fans that are very young. Wow, just wow when you look at the greatness of Patrick Mahomes. This is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I'm here today to talk about Patrick Mahomes being potentially close to surpassing Tom Brady in the GOAT debate. Even though Patrick Mahomes has only been an NFL starter for six seasons, he has already made tremendous strides when compared to other all-time great quarterbacks. With a win in Super Bowl 58, Patrick Mahomes would end up having three rings on his resume. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with the top of question. So here it is. Is Patrick Mahomes close to surpassing Tom Brady in the GOAT debate? Honestly, it's not really that close as of right now. Now, do I think Patrick Mahomes will end up surpassing Tom Brady? Absolutely. But if you want to talk about right now, Tom Brady is the GOAT over Patrick Mahomes. And it really isn't relatively close. It's not because Patrick Mahomes isn't an all-time great quarterback. It is because of how great Tom Brady is. You guys have to realize the huge gap that exists between Tom Brady and the second greatest quarterback in the history of the NFL. Or if you don't want to include Patrick Mahomes, you can say the third greatest quarterback in the history of the game. The point is Tom Brady is way too far ahead compared to everybody else in the GOAT debate. Hello, have we forgotten what Tom Brady was all about? Tom Brady was all about sustained success no matter the team, no matter the situation, no matter the circumstances. The dude just found a way to win games year in and year out. Tom Brady was the definition of sustained success and you look at his accomplishments on the Patriots and Buccaneers, very impressive stuff. There's a reason why Tom Tom Brady only had one losing season his entire career and that came at the age of 45 and even then he still had a really good year. The reason why his team had a losing record was because his coach Todd Bowles was not a good head coach but the point is Tom Brady had a lot of accomplishments to his name. You want to talk about statistics? Tom Brady's got you there. You want to talk about rings? Tom Brady's got you there. You want to talk about sustained success? Tom Brady got you there. If you want to talk about supporting cast or lack of, Tom Brady had the worst supporting cast when you compare him to Patrick Mahomes. You look at how Patrick Mahomes has a great offensive mastermind and Andy Reid, and we've seen how Andy Reid can win with other quarterbacks in the National Football League. Yeah, he didn't win Super Bowls with them, but he was still a winner regardless. He still managed to take those guys to the playoffs. You think about how he developed Donovan McNabb into a multiple-time Pro Bowl quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. You think about how he got Michael Vick to play some of his best football in his NFL career. You think about how he managed to make Alex Smith look like an elite quarterback for a period of time on the Kansas City Chiefs. The point is, Andy Reid just knows how to work with quarterbacks really well. And you really can't say the same for Tom Brady's coach. You look at how Bill Belichick has really not been relevant without Tom Brady before and after the Tom Brady era. You look at how Bill Belichick was a mediocre head coach before Tom Brady became a starter for the Patriots. You look at how Bill Belichick became mediocre after Tom Brady left. Tom Brady made Bill Belichick. You can't make that point for Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes did not make Andy Reid become a great head coach. He just made Andy Reid a bigger winner in the National Football League. As for Tom Brady, this dude elevated Bill Belichick in his flawed philosophy when it came to building a football team around a quarterback. You look at how wide receivers are supposedly the most important position to build around quarterbacks and how Bill Belichick failed to do that for Tom Brady year in and year out, but it didn't matter for Tom Brady because he was still able to make it work. Tom Brady is always going to be the GOAT over Patrick Mahomes, at least in the current day as we're talking. Now, if we're talking about the end of this decade, then I think Patrick Mahomes will end up surpassing Tom Brady because Patrick Mahomes is also a great quarterback too and he is more physically talented than Tom Brady. However, what happened in history is not going to be changeable by the next fact that I'm going to share with you guys. So you look at how Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes went up against each other in Super Bowl 55. Those were the two goats going off against each other and what happened was Tom Brady dominated the game against the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes played his worst game as a pro in the National Football League. Patrick Mahomes got blown out in the Super Bowl. It was not a good game whatsoever. Tom Brady looked unequivocally better than Patrick Mahomes that night and when you talk about these GOAT debates that is always going to be a sticking point when you compare Tom Brady to Patrick Mahomes. I mean that was Patrick Mahomes in the beginning of his prime compared to Tom Brady at the end of his prime and the fact that Tom Brady managed to blow out Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl that is not going to be a good look on Patrick Mahomes resume but if you want to talk about where Patrick Mahomes is ranked all time then you got me there because I think Patrick Mahomes is already the second greatest quarterback in NFL history. No I'm not using recency bias. I believe he's the second greatest quarterback in 
the history of the NFL right now because you look at his ability, you look at his accomplishments, you look at the fact that he's already a two-time MVP winner, you look at the fact that he is already a two-time Super Bowl champion, you look at the fact how Patrick Mahomes barely loses in the playoffs. There's a reason why Patrick Mahomes has never lost as the underdog. It is because Patrick Mahomes knows how to play his best when people are doubting him the most. When Patrick Mahomes is an underdog, his team always finds a way to win football games and you can't say that about any all-time great quarterback outside of Patrick Mahomes. Maybe Tom Brady could fall in that category, but outside of Tom Brady, you really can't say that for Patrick Mahomes. You look at how the other all-time great quarterbacks, some of those guys include Joe Montana, Peyton Manning, Johnny Unitas, Brett Favre, John Elway, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, you name them all. You can even throw in Dan Marino. And you look at how Patrick Mahomes is already better than all those guys because he's either got more MVPs or he's won more often compared to those legends of the game. And obviously, I know it's kind of controversial to put Patrick Mahomes over Peyton Man and Joe Montana, but Patrick Mahomes also has incredibly strong statistics to his name. I know some people feel like stats don't matter, but when you come up in a GOAT discussion, statistics do matter to an extent. I'm not saying that's the main thing that matters, but it does matter to an extent. And Patrick Mahomes is already one of the best quarterbacks of all time when you compare his first six years in the league compared to other legends of the game. Peyton Man didn't even win a playoff game till year six of his NFL career. So you look at how Peyton Man already had a slower start than Patrick Mahomes. And you look at how Peyton Man was notorious for being the greatest regular season quarterback ever, but also getting eliminated quicker than anybody else in the playoffs because he had eight one and dones. That's a lot of one and dones to have come playoff time. And then you look at how Joe Montana, he had the rings, but he didn't really have the stats. I've been giant nice, great quarterback, but he doesn't have the stats to compare to some of these legends. I and mean, then of course, you've got John Elway, Brett Favre, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees. Those guys were all great in their own right, but Patrick Mahomes has already surpassed all of them. When you look at the statistics, when you look at the records, and when you look at the amount of winning those guys had compared to Patrick Mahomes, it's pretty clear that Patrick Mahomes has already surpassed all of those guys. In my mind, Patrick Mahomes is already the second greatest quarterback in the history of the game. And if Patrick Mahomes wins the Super Bowl in Super Bowl 58, then that's only going to make the gap even bigger. Right now, what Patrick Mahomes is chasing for is Tom Brady. Obviously, Tom Brady is the GOAT in football. Not only is he the greatest quarterback ever, he might even be the greatest player to have ever played the game of football. And obviously, Patrick Mahomes has a long way to go when catching up to Tom Brady. But why is Tom Brady still the GOAT over Patrick Mahomes? Well, like I said, Tom Brady has already won seven Super Bowls. He already had sustained success. He owns most of the records in the record books. And he really doesn't have any weaknesses whatsoever. You look at how Tom Brady got that record on lockdown. And you look at how Tom Brady had sustained success for an entire generation of society. Not only did he last 15 years in the NFL, he actually lasted 23 years in the NFL. Anytime an NFL football player can last that long, that means you take really good care of your body. And Patrick Mahomes does not have the longevity argument over Tom Brady. Now, do I think Patrick Mahomes needs to get seven rings in order to catch up to Tom Brady? I'm not sure about that. But what I am going to say with Patrick Mahomes is the easiest solution to surpass Tom Brady in the good debate is to keep winning. Keep finding ways to win. And when you win, let everything else take care of itself. And you're going to eventually surpass Tom Brady. Do I believe Patrick Mahomes will end up doing that? Absolutely. But you have to earn it out there on the football field first. You have to keep winning. If you win this Sunday, that's a step in the right direction. When it comes to the GOAT debate between Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes, obviously we know what Patrick Mahomes can do on the football field. He is a magician. He doesn't really have any weaknesses whatsoever. He has matured so much when you watch Patrick Mahomes play. When you look at this year's playoffs, you see Patrick Mahomes become a game manager. There's nothing wrong being a game manager if you're an all-time great. He is understanding that, hey, I don't have to put up 30 points and win a football game doing it that way. He knows that if I can put my team in position to score, let's say about 20 points, I can make sure that the defense takes care of business in the second half because we all know that the Kansas City Chiefs defense is really good come second half time. And Patrick Mahomes understands how to play the game of football. You can see the maturation that is coming in his play style. I really like watching Patrick Mahomes play. I don't think he's all that close to surpassing Tom Brady in the GOAT debate, but I do think it is inevitable that he will end up surpassing Tom Tom Brady in the GOAT debate, but like I said, for Patrick Mahomes, keep winning and let everything else take care of itself. So that is why Patrick Mahomes is not that close to surpassing Tom Brady in the GOAT debate, even though I could definitely see Patrick Mahomes becoming the GOAT by the end of this decade. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin Nash Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin Nash Tran and that sports guy talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin Nash Tran. Again, 
go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.